Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pro Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the official 300 million download live stream literally just ended like 10 minutes ago. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys a full breakdown of all the insane events and characters that were announced in it. Now, real quick, if you guys are interested in watching the entire stream from the beginning, I do have it archived on my channel now. So go check it out if you have some time. It was actually pretty entertaining, so it's worth the watch if you guys have the time for it. And also another thing, of course, is I gotta give a big shout out to iSeriously on Twitter for just compiling all of the announcements on his page and uh, making it a lot easier for me to make this video. So thank you so much to iSeriously for the work that he does. And uh, let's start from the beginning now. The first thing that they announced, at least the first big thing that they announced in the stream, uh, about like 10 minutes in or so, was the fact that the um, official theme for the 300 million download celebration was going to be the Cell games. And I feel like that's not a huge surprise for a lot of people. It's kind of been the primary uh, speculation or rumor for a while now. So there we go, guys. Officially confirmed the Cell games is going to be the theme of the 300 million download celebration. So there you go. And as you can see from this little picture here, there is a Gohan on the one side and a Cell on the other side. So I'm sure you know what's coming. Next up, we have a new feature that's coming to Global, or both versions rather, to Dokkan, um, I think, is going to be this like wallpaper feature. You know what, actually, let me be clear, I'm not 100% sure that all of the announcements were for both sides, because there are um, some differences between Global and JP, right? So some of them might be JP exclusive for at least a little while, so like for something like this, I'm not really sure if it's going to be JP first or both versions are going to get it, but what this is, is basically a new feature that's coming to Dokkan where you can change the uh, background of your like home screen, I guess, so you can change it to like, I don't know, maybe Planet Namek or um, something else, I don't really know, it wasn't really a feature that I thought I needed, but I'll take it. Like I said, I'm always happy to get new features, but nothing too crazy here. So new feature where you can change your background um, in the game. And then next up is the global versus JP campaign. And what we're getting for this one is, so if you guys don't remember from last year, there was like this uh, thing where basically global and JP competed against each other. Actually, it was, it's had a couple times now, but we compete against each other for uh, certain things like how much stamina spent or how many story events cleared, how many items collected, so on and so forth. And the winner would get one character and the loser would get another character. So in this case, the winner will get this perfect cell here and the loser of this campaign will get this um, booty slapping Hercule, which to be honest, and I gotta say like for the past couple of competitions now, the losing card has always been the more badass one or like the more, or at least the more fun one or the more desirable one. So in my opinion, I would actually prefer to lose. So for you global players watching right now, uh, let's lose this campaign. Let's get this booty slapping Hercule because I prefer that as like a unique card over this, you know, cool but generic looking perfect sell, you know, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We both get rewards for the campaign regardless. Um, both cards are going to be very similar as far as their passive goes and everything. So it's not a huge deal, but I would prefer to get that Hercule over the sill if I'm just being honest with myself, right? So that's the global versus JP thing. And this is absolutely huge, guys. Um, 10 new super battle route stages. They haven't announced the categories that are going to be included as part of the new stages, but um, I would assume maybe something like uh, maybe Pure Saiyans, um, maybe... Um, I, my mind's blanking right now, man. There's so many things going on. Artificial life forms, transformation boost. Uh, who really knows? Who really knows? But 10 new stages, and also from that, we're getting... Um, a new LR, uh, Bulma and Go no, Bulma and Goku. So Kid Goku or Youth Goku and Youth Bulma. Um, this is gonna be a new LR. The art looks phenomenal. I know the <laughs> resolution is not the best, so I apologize for that. But you guys get the idea, man. It looks awesome. I don't really know what they do, to be honest. Uh, they did post something on the stream, but I couldn't read it, unfortunately. So um, more details coming soon about this LR for sure, but they are gonna be the new free-to-play LR that's obtainable for clearing the new Super Battle Road stages. And then uh, moving on from that, we have a new, I believe it's a new story event. Uh, yeah, new story event with the Cell, the Cell game, Cell Saga story event, where uh, Gohan transforms into Super Saiyan 2 and beats the crap out of uh, Cell. And we also have a special 
uh, celebration themed uh, Ultimate Clash or uh, Dokkan Battlefield coming, where we can also get a new. Well, I mean, they're going to be added to the shop basically. We're not getting it from clearing it, but uh, you can now purchase a new uh, Krillin as well as a new Android 18 from the uh, Battlefield shop. And I have no idea what they do once again, but I think the art for this Krillin looks phenomenal. Really, really cool art. And you guys know how I feel about Android 18, so I am extremely, extremely happy about that too. I will take more free-to-play cards, especially if this Krillin is very good, which, uh, based on the trend of Battlefield cards, um, should be the case. He should be pretty respectable, so that's f that's awesome. Oh, also, there's this hyperbolic time chamber event. Um, I'm not sure if this is the one where you can farm Elder Kai's or there's another one, but apparently there's going to be a new event that uh, you can farm Elder Kai's. I'm sure there's a limit, maybe it's like a daily thing or something like that, but there is a new event. I think it might be this one. I don't know how many we can get, but I'm sure you guys are in dire need of Elder Kai's after that Heroes banner, at least on Global. Um, and also just on JP too, like more Kai's is always a good thing, so that's awesome. And also... On top of that, you guys can see there's a Goku and Gohan, and also a Vegeta and Trunks, right? And that's actually alluding to uh, something else we're getting. So, um, you know, I'll talk about that in a second, but let's talk about this right, in, right here. And this is the 300 million download celebration um, uh, ticket banner. <laughs> the ticket banner that we get every single year with the download celebrations. And as you guys can see, this is definitely going to be the JP banner. I'm not sure if the global banner is going to look exactly like this, but these are... Looks like the main featured units. I don't know if the other um, Dokkan Fest exclusive units are going to be on there uh, or going to be featured as well, or maybe they're going to be unfeatured. I'm not really sure. I, actually, this is probably the featured pool, and then the rest of them should be in the unfeatured pool. I think that's usually how it works. My mind is like not working properly right now, so uh, if I say something wrong, guys, I apologize. My, my bad. But um, I believe this is the featured pool of units for that banner. And if this is the case, man, like for Global 2, this is pretty good. You got the Transforming Frieza, Transforming Goku, you got UI Goku, you got SSBE, Turles, uh, Android 17, uh, STR Jiren, all top tier units still, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, I would actually take this Gohan too, just because I need a future Saga leader, you know? So uh, overall, not bad, not mad about that. This is what we summon on with those tickets we get. Remember I was talking about like those tickets we get like for every 50 stones spent since the last Alan celebration? So this is the banner we should be getting for that. Um, and now, uh, the main event, at least for part one of the celebration, of course, is the Duel Dokkan Fest between the uh, Gohan and Cell. And I'm being told that the, they are going to be LR, it's going to be a Duel Dokkan Fest, or Duel LR Dokkan Fest. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that, but a lot of people have been saying, apparently Talon said that too. Um, so possibly LRs. The art does look like, does, does look LR-esque, right? Like it does have that LR vibe. And also a new Extreme Z Awakening is coming for this old STR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, who honestly did need, he, he definitely needed an Extreme Z Awakening and the timing is perfect. So uh, we're getting an Extreme Z Awakening event for him or Extreme Z Battle event for him. And now let's take a look at the animation for this Gohan. Here we go. Now, let me turn up the volume just a little bit. And enjoy, guys. Oh, God, so good. So, so good. And of course, that was taken directly from the live stream, which is why there was a guy that popped up at the end. And then we also have Cell's super attack. Oh, is that his? I think that's his active skill, actually. <laughs> yeah, so these guys are pretty clean. They they look pretty damn nice. I would not be surprised if they were LRs. Um, and. I mean, this guy. This guy had a voice line. This a super attack didn't. So I'm, I'm guessing this might be Gohan's super attack, but not his active skill. Uh, whereas this is Cell's active skill. Um, but once again, not 100% sure because a lot of stuff is still up in the air. We literally just came off the live stream, and uh, I think this is the active skill actually for Gohan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give me one sec. Like a 
Alright, so that is either the active skill or just like his transformation mechanic that doesn't require an active skill. I'm not really sure, but it's dope. <laughs> it's dope. Um, oh, so this guy's saying it's LR too. So I'm pretty sure it's LR. I'm pretty sure they're LRs. Um, like 95% sure at this point. Um, and we also have Cell Super Attack. So the last one we saw was was probably the active skill. This is his regular super attack. Got it. Okay. Rest in peace, Trunks. Alright, alright, that's enough, that's enough. Ah, oh, so good. Yo, they, they, they gotta be LRs. There's, there's like, a very low chance they're not, because the quality, man, that is LR quality animation right there. Okay, so there's gonna also be a um, Twitter campaign, apparently, with uh, some questions that Cell asks you, so... Uh, that's probably gonna be a JP thing, because usually for uh, Global, it's Facebook related. Um, and then we also have a V jump scan here with a transforming, or not transforming rather, um, rather a base Goku that Dokkan awakens into a uh, Goku and Gohan. And then apparently, according to Goresh, he said that there's also going to be a new retreat mechanic where uh, instead of Goku and Gohan, it's just going to become Gohan. So like Goku, I guess retreats. I'm not really sure what that does or like you know why we want to do that. But there's going to be a new mechanic, essentially, where instead of Goku and Gohan, it becomes just Gohan. And the same thing for this base Vegeta here. This base Vegeta, um, we've been saying for a while now, like, why doesn't he have a pure, the Pure Saiyans um, category, right? And the reason for that is because um, he, he Dokkan Awakens into a uh, Vegeta and Trunks. And then there's the retreat, retreat mechanic as well, where he becomes just Trunks. So... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the retreat is going to do, if it's going to give them like a, a stat boost or like what benefit it provides us, but that's a thing. It's going to happen. Uh, more details coming soon for that as well. So that's courtesy of the V-Jump scan. And I think that is all there is to it, guys. That was everything that was major. Oh, also, also during the stream, um, they were like accumulating or counting the number of free stones we would be getting for the stream. And at the end, we got to a total of 50. So... Um, we should all be expecting 50 free stones in our box for the stream. So I think that covers everything, guys. I think that covers everything that happened in the stream. Um, Dual Dokkan Fest, Gohan, LR Gohan, LR Cell. Uh, there's the art once again for you guys. Pretty clean if you ask me, I like that. Um, the uh, celebration banner with the, the, the tickets, as well as some new story events. And the new Battlefield LR or Super Battle Road LR. New Super Battle Road stages. Um, the Hercule, the Booty Hercule, and also Perfect Cell. Uh, new mechanic coming with the wallpapers. It's gonna be a Cell Games theme celebration. And that is all there is to it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys are hyped. Let me know in the comments down below which of these things that were announced in the stream today were you the most hyped about. And, um, of course, once more details comes out about anything, I will keep you guys posted, as I always do. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, if you guys like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. That's all I gotta say. I'm out of here. I gotta go sleep. It's been more than 24 hours. So I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.